Fighting games are competitive games in the purest form. Just you and your opponent, one versus one. The character you pick versus the character your opponent picks. As such, a roster of diverse character is detrimental to give variety and the possibility of different playstyles. This makes balancing one of the most important aspects of the genre. Tekken 7 is one of the prime examples. A game that in its early stages was called one of the most balanced fighting game ever. Of course, there were characters that were considered stronger or weaker, but the gap between top and bottom was so close that a character that was considered the worst won the biggest tournament in the game. Father. Really? But that changed over the course of time. Balance updates, system changes, and DLC characters shook up the game's balance for sometimes better or worse. The most infamous case of all, however, was the release of a certain character. When Leroy was first revealed, the reception was overwhelmingly positive. Fans loved the design and the unique style of the character that other new additions to the game were lacking. This led to Leroy Smith being promoted more than any other character before. Perhaps the hype and expectations were the reason for what followed. When Leroy was eventually released, he was broken. Absolutely overpowered. His arsenal had answers to every situation and boasted improved versions of the strongest tools of other characters. But that's a normal reaction, right? When something new is released, players quickly call it either absolutely trash or mind-bogglingly broken. There's no in-between and in due time, Leroy will be figured out too, right? Well, not exactly. Leroy was just broken. And even worse, there was no due time. Shortly after Leroy's release and no time for a balance update, one of the biggest tournaments of the year was just around the corner, EVO Japan 2020. Throughout the whole tournament, Leroy was the single most popular pick. A game that usually has a great variety of characters. And I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. Just by looking at the top 8, we can see that out of the 8 players, 6 of them play Leroy. Everybody agreed. Leroy is broken and if you want to win, you aren't going to pass on the opportunity. Fast forward to the grand finals, we have Book. A Jin player that became a fan favorite due to his risky and flashy playstyle, but for this tournament, he picked up Leroy. His opponent is Mikio, a household Japanese player, but not very known among the wide western audience, but just because he played the character other than Leroy and made it to the finals in spite of Leroy, was kind of the protagonist of this tournament. In a very close set, Mikio lost to Book, and the post-match interview was quite bizarre. This was Book's first major win. You expect him to be ecstatic and celebrating. This time it was not the case. During the winner interview, he sounded disappointed and disheartened even. When asked for comments on his victory, Book stated, Yeah, just pick me on, I think. And hinted at his disappointment multiple times during this interview. This is not to paint Book as a bad guy. He's a pro player. He should do everything in his power to win. And that's just what he did. His disappointment was more towards the game's state. The whole tournament was looked at as a big failure of the balance team and fueled the anti-Leroy sentiment furthermore. While there was no certain answer how a character could be released in such a state, people theorized it was maybe to sell more DLCs. Maybe it was the high hopes this character received on reveal and the developers overcompensating. Or really a combination of both. Eventually, Leroy was nerfed of course and still remained a decent character. But what remained was his reputation and a level of disdain for the character that terrorized not only online ranked matches, but one of the biggest events of the year. Hopefully with the release of Tekken 8, players can reconnect to this character that initially seemed like a fan favorite.